Good afternoon, my darlings, not good morning. I'm a little bit later starting today's vlog. It's been one of those, one of those mornings. Uh, we've just had a lot going on at the house. A lot of people here must have made about 500 cups of coffee. That's not even an exaggeration. It's also been a really, really lovely day. It's been super sunny. I don't think anyone was really expecting this mini early spring heat wave to extend into the week. I think we all thought the Easter weekend was going to be amazing, um, but it's been really, really glorious. So Charlie and I have both had our laptops out on the outside table and now I am feeling on the inside how dicky it appears on the outside. Very, very done with the day, but I've popped on my gardening attire. I don't know if I've actually got the energy to do any official gardening, maybe just a little bit of kind of tidying and pruning, but we want to put the cloches and the rhubarb forcer down in the kitchen garden. We did have a slight delay today. Basically the York stone turned up um, for some of the areas that we're putting York stone and our Nicholson's guys that are basically constructing the kitchen garden actually rejected it because it wasn't up to standard, which is why we love them so much because we are, you know, we want this kitchen garden to be here forever. So we're very happy that they have got such high standards and yeah, we're happy to wait a little bit longer. Um, so yeah, not much has changed actually down there. We still don't have the irrigation pipes in, so I still can't do my planting, but hopefully this weekend um, they have instead been working on the greenhouse wall, which is very exciting. But yeah, I think the beds will look a lot more structured once we've got the cloches and the rhubarb forcer down there. So that's what we're going to do now. And then I'm just going to do a little bit of, yeah, like deadheading and mindless kind of tasks because I think that's all I can all I can manage this afternoon. So if you didn't quite get to the end of the last vlog on Thursday you may not have seen this but this is our new in inverted commas antique rhubarb forcer and I think this is going to go on maybe the top right bed. I think that'll look lovely so when Charlie comes back with a wheelbarrow we'll take it down. I literally only potted these on a couple of days ago maybe like 24 48 hours ago and they have already got a second set of leaves this is my salad rocket so that's looking amazing as soon as the beds are ready these will be going out hopefully not long um wow the kohlrabi is shooting up as well these ones here that's an entire new set of leaves the monge too is just very excited to get on something that it can climb up and my sweet peas are doing well as well. Gosh, look at these. They're doing so much better than last year. I wonder why. I think next year I definitely want to do more tulips in pots because it's just so striking. I'd love to have so many more of these around the house. You may have seen in the vlog that went live on Tuesday. I definitely recommend forwarding if you don't want to watch it all. I'd recommend watching it all but forward to the 45 minute mark because my nephews were here and we were doing a lot of garden tasks with them and you can see the tulips in the pots at um, in the Luz garden and it just looks so stunning but yeah this one just looks absolutely gorgeous I think I got the bulbs from Farmer Gracie and you plant them in around September to enjoy at this time of year yeah we need to have a trio I think trio. definitely but I think what's nice potentially is if it has stuff growing behind it mmm that looks good should we bring the cloches down yeah. and then once we get the other two rhubarbs growing next to it it'll look great yeah, they look great. Yeah. Gorgeous. Want to put this one? There's stuff growing in them. Yeah. So these are my old ones that I got at the beginning of the growing season last year. They've got a nice bit of aging on them now. They look a little bit old and rustic. And I've actually ordered one more that should be arriving in the next couple of days. It's a company based down in Somerset. They make them all by hand in their you workshop. Did you, these? you did, darling. And um yeah, it takes about four or five weeks for them to arrive once you've placed your order. But I think it's worth it. And the lettuce that I grew in my cloches last year was so much bigger and better in its little microclimate. And I think they just look absolutely beautiful. We've got the rhubarb forcer just stood by itself over there. But again, once we've got the irrigation in the beds and we can start planting them, it'll look lovely when it's surrounded by fellow rhubarbs. Look how gorgeous our floral archway is looking at the moment. 
You. You're showing me your tea sticky. Char, do you want to come and help me unbox this? Yep. <clears throat> it is. Amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. The, when did you buy that? Literally yesterday. We need to get on for the cottages now. I know. This is the Cotswold <clears throat> version of Monopoly. It has a very bad rating review on Amazon because apparently most of the boards are sponsored. And I was thinking it's oh. such a shame. If only we'd have known about this earlier. Imagine. Well, so I can now tell you. Cottage. I have it on my list of presents to get you, but we don't maybe need it now. There is a website yeah. that lets you build your own. Well, imagine. So I will build Let's... our own with Straw Top Cottage. Imagine on. if we could do like the Josie and Charlie Cotswolds. It would literally have like Quince and Clover. Yeah, well, we will do it. Burford Garden Company, Time. Yeah, it's it's not on the high street. You can build your own. That's amazing. Well, let's have a look what businesses are on the Cotswold Monopoly board. <coughs> oh my gosh, Diddly Squat Farm Shop's on it. Yeah. He did that quickly. Yeah. I bet Monopoly approached him actually. Of course they did. I have no idea if you can see me because it is so bright that I can't see the lens, but they are missing a few tricks here. I feel like I should have consulted <laughs> for the Cotswold Monopoly board. So the icons that you play with... Is there a dachshund? There is a dog, but it's not a dachshund. So you've got, again, no idea if you can see this. A pair of boots is one of your icons. Of course, there is a tractor, a silver tractor. I can't believe there's no defender. They've done a caravan and not a defender. What? Yeah, how silly is that? You see far more defenders in the Cotsword lanes than you do caravans, but there's a caravan. That should have been a combine harvester. That would have been hilarious. I don't even think it's a dog. I think it's a sheep, which arguably is quite appropriate for the Cotswolds. And then, last but not least, an ice cream cone, which is actually fairly boring. I'm not going to lie, they should have done a pair of Le Chameau Wellies, a Defender. That's why it's bad in your review, isn't it? Yeah, they've just not got this quite right. Okay, do you want to come and analyse the face names with me? Yeah. Oh my gosh, surely this is sponsored. Oop. Surely this is sponsored oh. <laughs> by Diddley Squat Farm Shop. That is hilarious. Well, at least they have got some legit things. This is awful. They've got Tewkesbury Abbey, random. They've got Broadway Tower, that's a good one. Painswick <coughs> Rococo Garden. Sudley Castle's a good one as well. Westenburg Arboretum, Castle right. Coombe, Bybury. You can buy Bybury for 206 million pounds. That wouldn't come close, would it? So, I mean, look, we we do like the Cotswold Distillery, but they've paid to be on here as premium. That's not realistic. Cotswold Brewing Company. Why would they be that expensive? Sorry. Little it's a loss making. <laughs> Just quickly, love them, but they're a loss making business. So how are they valued? Oh, that? Gifford Circus. <clears throat> Cleve Hill. No. Shouldn't be on the there. Photo... At least Dalesford's on there. Yeah, but the, the farmhouse should be on there. And also, this they reckon is terrible you can buy. Quality. They reckon you can buy Diddley Squat for the same price as you could buy Dalesford. Just quickly, this is terrible quality as well. <laughs> and the pictures are awful. I mean, well done for buying it, but ultimately, my laugh. review, I'd be leaving that. Look how pixelated that is. I'd be leaving this a 0.5 out of 10. <laughs> we'll be making such, our own one, don't worry. Such a shame, because we could have done this so much better. So, Quince and Clover's not on here, which is a beacon in the Cotswolds. Well, I feel like that was a rather brutal review from Charlie and I, but would you expect anything less than an honest review from us? If you guys would buy a Josie and Charlie version of Cotswold Monopoly, let us know in the comments section down below because wouldn't it be hilarious if we were going to do a few anyway for Straw Top Cottage, if you guys could buy them. <laughs> oh my goodness, but if, in case you wondered what it looks like, here it is. I've not opened up the chance cards yet, but I love that they are actually personalised. I didn't actually expect this. So, for example, you're visiting the Cotswolds for the first time. Advance to Broadway Tower. The second highest... Hang on. What's the highest point in the Cotswolds if Broadway Tower's not it? Not sure. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, hello again, darlings. Back up in the dressing room. I say back up. I think this is the first time we've been up here in this vlog. Um, I'm still looking very bedraggled, and I feel like I just, in fact... 
a face mist after an afternoon in the garden is one of the best feelings. This is the Beauty Pie Triple Hyaluronic Acid Face Mist and it is just so heavenly after you've been outside for a few hours. I'm going to slightly freshen up my makeup um, but I thought I would do a little bit of an unboxing with you because behind me this Ooh, basket here is full of stuff from the post room downstairs so I thought that I would share with you some of these bits a mixture of PR bits and bits that I've purchased over the last few days um, it's a, <laughs> a huge mixture of bits and bobs to unbox so I know that this is meant to be a really good lip balm it's from a brand called Wildsmith um, and this is actually the brand. Now, I don't know if they created it at Heckfield Place um, or if it's just the brand that they used there. Let's see. Wildsmith Collection. But I've heard really, really good things about this lip balm. So it's the Multipurpose Balm Ceramide Lipid Repair Balm. Ah, it's one of those. Suitable for smoothing onto lips, cuticles, elbows and other dry areas as needed. So it looks like quite a thick balm. Oh, smells heavenly and my lips feel really dry right now. That actually feels heavenly. It's a really lovely brand. I remember really um, liking their products when I stayed at Heckfield, which must have been a couple of years ago. I'd love to go back there actually. Um, it's a really gorgeous place. A little bit kind of like time that I rave about loads. So my next item to unbox is something that I purchased from Netta Porter a few weeks ago. And it is a pair, well actually no, it's probably about a week ago now. A pair of shoes from a brand called Lo... Loefle Randall. <laughs> I probably pronounced that completely wrong. Um, but I actually saw on a YouTube video that Sheerlux did that these are meant to be really lovely and really comfortable. Gorgeous branding, really beautiful light pink box with gold writing. And these shoes are quite hard to get your hands on. Um, so when I saw that this pair was left in my size, I instantly added to my basket. Ooh, la, la. Well, that is just rather adorable, isn't it? Oh my goodness, a really tiny heel. I think if I'd have had the full choice of um, the whole collection to choose from, I probably would have gone for a slightly bigger heel because I do like to have that little height boost. But if you have got a special event or a wedding to go to all day long, then that heel height is gonna be really nice and comfortable. I think this blush colored fabric as well, it's almost like a starchified pleated chiffon. It looks really, really lovely a gorgeous event shoe um so obviously they're not going to go <laughs> with my gardening outfit that i've gone on at the moment but i'm sure throughout this vlog there will be at some point maybe tomorrow gosh i'm shiny um an opportunity to pop on a lovely dress so i will try these on with a more appropriate outfit the next thing that i have to open up is from skin and me and i have been partnering with skin and me since November or December last year. It's a brand that I rave to all of my friends about. If anyone ever like sends me a DM or anything on Instagram and asks for skincare advice, I would honestly say 90% of the time I end up recommending Skin and Me to them. Their um, daily dose, the, the serum product, I'll be popping on in probably about an hour's time to be honest. I can't wait to take, take my makeup off for the day. But I didn't actually think that I was due a new one just yet. The basically Skin and Me, the daily dose, is a product that you get after filling out a very quick questionnaire online um, and your results and three pictures which you take super super quickly just on your iPhone, no makeup on, clean skin, they get sent to a team of experts and you essentially get um, skincare designed especially for you and your skincare needs. So it does contain your little daily dose, does contain active ingredients, you apply it on clean skin before bed and the extra ingredients chosen in your product are especially designed for your skin alone. So it's really personalized skincare at a fraction of the cost of going to see a dermatologist. Going to see a dermatologist as well is basically just really really hard there are very not enough of them here in the UK at least um, to get an appointment with them can be very time-consuming and very expensive it's just not something that's available to all of us I've never been able to see a, pro a, pro a proper um, dermatologist but skin and me recommend 
a skincare product that's really going to work for you. So no more guessing when it comes to active ingredients, whether you need retinol or certain kinds of acids and things like that. The guesswork is taken out and you get this product through the post every single month and it's just perfect for your skin. It also increases in its percentage ratio of active ingredients month on month. So you're not completely overdosing your skin to start with. You don't need to guess or try and figure out what active ingredients your skin needs and your skin can get used to them over time. I feel like I've, sp <laughs> I've spoken about it a lot um, and I rave about it a lot. I think it is one of the biggest things that has helped me to get the skin that I've always wanted without sounding too cheesy. So it's something that I highly recommend to friends, family, followers alike. But I think this might be something a little bit new from them because normally the daily doser, it's not this big. It comes in the letterbox um, in just like a little cardboard pouch. They don't have any unnecessary plastics. It's all very sustainable. But yeah, I think this might be cleanse, treat, and hydrate your solution. Oh, okay, so here, this is the original product. This is my daily doser. So this is made from aluminium. So again, sustainability-wise, aluminium is infinitely recyclable. And I'm not gonna twist it now because I've still got my makeup on. You can see it's got the dates on here. You twist this one full click all the way around and it basically dispenses the perfect amount of product for your evening routine. I like to do this, apply it onto cleansed skin at like six or seven o'clock in the evening when the day's done. I've done my cleansing routine and then I will pop on my night cream afterwards using products like this the hydrating um, Hyaluronic spray as well is great because a lot of the time active ingredients just mean that your skin does require a little bit more moisture So having these pairings are really good, but I'm guessing That this is why they've also developed a cleanser and a moisturizer. Hi Josephine, our dermatologists have developed the products in your routine to work in perfect harmony with your skin and each other. My skin type is combination and my priority skin goal is to make my pores less visible. Which now that I think about it, ever since I've started using Skin Me for the last six months, I would say my pore size has dramatically improved. Your personalized solution works on making your pores less visible. Your cleanser and moisturizer support and protect your skin barrier on your journey to happy and healthy skin. So in the morning, you use the cleanser, the moisturizer, and then your SPF. And in the evening, you use the cleanser, and then your daily doser, and then the moisturizer. So I will give these a try um, when I go downstairs in a second. Again, no unnecessary plastic. It's in this, um, I'm not actually sure what this is, but it feels like it could be a kind of, it's a metal tube of some sort. So again, probably going to be recyclable. This is the cleanser. So I bet there are just a few different types of the moisturizer and it just varies in a few subtle ways depending on your skin. So everything that Skin and Me do is all about that personalized skincare at a really, really good price without the need to see a dermatologist. Um, so fantastic that they're now branching out into cleansers and moisturizers as well. Again, just taking the guesswork out of your skincare. So in a few moments, I'll go downstairs and give those a try for the first time. Very quickly before I move on, I do have my discount code for Skin and Me, um, which basically enables you to get a really good price. I think it's £3.50 for your first month. So I will leave the discount code that you need to give it a try on the screen here and the link in the description box down below. Could not recommend this any more highly. So many of my friends that have tried it since I started raving about it have been saying to me what a huge, huge difference this has made to their skin. Make the most of the discount code. It'll be linked in the description box down below as well. The next the next thing that I have got in my <laughs> goodie basket from the post room is a selection of new products from Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk range. So I think she's just expanded the Pillow Talk collection. I don't believe everything here is new. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I think she's made the, yes. <gasps> This is a dream come true. She has made her Pillow Talk mascara in brown. I love a brown mascara. It is just so much, I mean, I love a black, <laughs> but a brown mascara is so 
natural, it's so much softer, especially if you have got um, a lighter hair colour, it can just be a little bit, um, a little bit more soft and subtle. It's not going to be very good showing you like this because I do already have a black mascara on. But I absolutely love the Pillow Talk mascara, so that is incredible that it's now out in black. What do we have here? Colour Chameleon colour morphing eyeshadow pencil in the shade pillow talk this i'm not sure if it's new or if it's just that we've been sent the full collection no i'm pretty sure this already existed but they're absolutely gorgeous um crayons you can use it just on the waterline or you can pop that all over your eyelid such a beautiful color i should use these more really they are so lovely I don't know if you'll be able to see that. I've literally just drawn it as though I'm using it as an eyeliner. Quite nice for popping in the corners of your eye as well. Color coded eyeshadow, Pillow Talk Dreams. Is this gonna be new? I'm not sure if this is new or not, but that is the most perfect collection of eyeshadows. Slightly deeper shades. I would use those kind of shades with a really um, lovely thin flat brush and press those into my lash line for a kind of liner look. And then I'd actually use my finger to apply these kinds of shades to get a really gorgeous sparkly finish. <gasps> Oh my goodness, can you see that? <gasps> wow. I'm putting a different colour on each eye because I'm going to go and take my makeup off in a second. I don't know if you can see why I've just applied, but they are beautiful. Pillow Talk Love and Light Lip and Cheek Glow. Hmm. Oh my goodness. So this is more of a cream-based product in the most beautiful packaging. There you are on my dry shampoo and my body lotion. <gasps> How gorgeous is this? Charlotte Tilbury's packaging is just stunning. And then we have got Charlotte's Cheek to Chic Blusher in the shade Pillow Talk. Um, I'm not sure what shade the one that I currently use is. This is the one that I'm using at the moment. Oh, it is Pillow Talk. And I've literally been using this one for about five months, if not more, and I've not even come close to hitting pan. This one looks pinker though. Well, they're meant to be the same, but this one here I've had for ages, um, and I swear it looks pinker, and this one looks a little bit more brown, but they're both called Pillow Talk. Cheek to Chic, Swish and Glow, Pillow Talk. Let's give it a try. They really are the most beautiful colours and what you can do is take your brush just on the middle section and use it as a beautiful highlight. I just think they are absolutely gorgeous. So that is a lovely one to add to my collection. Um, beautifying All Over Glow Highlighter. Oh my gosh, this is new. This is a new product, new to the Pillow Talk collection. Oh my goodness, how stunning is this? An all over glow highlight. <gasps> Feels really weird applying this when I'm so ready to take my makeup off. That is absolutely gorgeous. And imagine just getting this out of your handbag to apply your highlight. It's got a mirror in the lid as well. That is so beautiful. It's like crushed up crystals in the lid. Oh. Okay, what do we have here? Um, I think this is literally the iconic Pillow Talk lipstick. Yep, the classic Pillow Talk lipstick. I actually have one that's um, fairly newly opened, so I'm gonna give this to a friend. And then what do we have here? Beauty Light Wand. This is one product that I just never really got along with with Charlotte Tilbury. It's the highlight in the wand. I don't know, I just prefer other highlights in my collection. So again, I'm gonna give that to a friend. And then we've got the eyeliner. I think it's in the brown shade. Yeah, Pillow Talk. And again, I've got one of these. And because I use eyeliner so um, rarely, mine is pretty much unused. So I have got three products there that I'm gonna give to a friend. But a great new selection of bits and bobs from Charlotte Tilbury. And then the last thing that I have to open with you is the world's smallest H&M order. 
there was actually only this one thing that I wanted to order on the website. I have been buying a lot from H&M lately um, and I didn't want them to sell out. So I placed an order of two of this pair of trousers, two different sizes, just because I thought they're absolutely gorgeous and um, I don't want them to <laughs> sell out before I place my next order. They're a really lovely kind of cottony. I thought they'd be so lovely for traveling. A pair of um, like comfy trousers, really lightweight material and they've got just this wildflower pattern all over them. Elasticated waistband. They would look a little bit crazy with what I've got on now, but let's do it anyway. Well, I'm not 100% sure about the trousers. Um, let me know what you guys think. I will probably end up keeping them because I think they were like 12 99 or something. And sometimes at the end of the day, you're not quite ready for pajamas, <laughs> um, but you just want to change your clothes and pop something more comfy on. And I think they'll be absolutely perfect for that. But they're just very, very relaxed. They do kind of look like pajama trousers, but as I said, great for traveling. I have been super lazy and I've got them on over the top of my leggings that I've been gardening in. Excuse my um, post unboxing mess. Yeah, very, very relaxed, very casual. Literally, they are like tracksuit bottoms. I think actually I'm gonna end up keeping the smaller size because they are rather ginormous and rather stretchy and also pretty long, but they would be very easy to shorten. I mean, do you know what? I think with a white blouse and a belt, I might try when I'm not like dirty and gross <laughs> from gardening, I might try styling them in a really nice way. Um, but yeah, quite nice just as a pair of comfy, cozy trousers. Okay, darlings, as you can see, I did attempt an outfit. Um, oh, <laughs> a bit revealing. I did attempt an outfit with the, sorry, oh my goodness. I did attempt an outfit with the trousers and actually it's just really nice to firstly have on a clean outfit after being in the garden for so long. And I do love just something a little bit warmer um, at the end of the day, even if it is, even if it has been a nice warm day, it's just nice to have something a bit cozier on. As you'll have seen, I just sat down and relaxed, um, actually did a little bit of work. Did a little bit of work on the sofa with the boys and now I'm going to take my makeup off while Charlie starts cooking. Hallelujah. So as always, starting with my face halo. Okay, so I've taken off my makeup with the face halo, which is always my first step. I just feel like by doing that, it means your skin is like 80 to 90% clean, well, makeup free, and then your cleanser can actually cleanse the skin instead of just taking off the makeup, if that makes sense. And my head, it makes perfect sense, but some people are like, Josie, why do you bother? Um, but it's kind of, it's like double cleansing, but you don't actually use any product the first time around. So we have got the Skin and Me Purify and Prep Hydrating Cleanser. This is formulated, um, designed by the dermatologists, works obviously really well with your daily doser, so you don't need to worry about any ingredients in your cleanser um, clashing with your daily doser. It's made with emollients, so it's designed to help keep the moisture in your skin because when you are using active ingredients, sometimes if you don't get it quite right, your skin can feel a little bit dry. So I love that Skin and Me have really thought about this. Two years since they started making the daily doser, they've obviously listened to audience um, and customer feedback and they've designed a skincare routine that works with your daily doser. You can of course use your favorite cleanser and moisturizer, um, but if you just wanna make sure that everything in your skincare routine works really perfectly together, then this is the dream. So as you can see, non-foaming, it feels really gentle. It literally feels like I'm applying a balm <laughs> to my skin, it feels lovely. Pretty sure this cleanser works for all skin types. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of moisture, um, a little bit of water and then use a warm, wet flannel to take this off. 
<laughs> excuse me looking like a little pea bobble head now i feel like it goes without saying but obviously just the same as your daily doser the cleanser and the moisturizer are vegan and cruelty free as well which we love about skin and me i now have lovely clean skin it doesn't feel tight it feels hydrated that was super duper gentle and now we're going to use the daily doser so of course everything has been designed to work like a dream all together so as you'll have just seen i twisted it up until you hear the click there we go and my perfect amount of daily dose of serum is there waiting for me so my code josie4y means that you get your first month for £3.50 um normally £24.99 I believe all the correct information will be on the screen here as I've said huge fan literally tell all my friends to get it so that's the code that you need feel free to pass it on when your friends compliment your glowing skin by the way i actually had an email from skin and me um a couple of days ago asking if i wanted to um basically provide feedback on and everyone gets this not just um because i'm working with them but provide feedback on how it's going let me get the email up actually because obviously you're using active ingredients they so just want to like check in on you and make sure that it's working really well it's time for your progress checkup let's see Josephine, your prescriber would like you to complete a progress checkup so they can see how you're getting on. They'll look at your treatment plan and see whether anything needs to change. You can tell us if you need any help or advice with any side effects, if you'd like to change your formula or share anything else you might need help or support with. Let's do it together. They've not even asked me to do this, but let's do it. So it says complete my checkup. It's remembered my login. <laughs> That's good because I never remember my passwords. Okay, are you happy with the formulation you currently have? So I can either click I'm happy and would like to stick with it or I'd like to message my prescriber to discuss this in more detail to be honest. I'm super happy. Um, has anything changed e.g. allergies, pregnancy, medications? Nope, I'm all up to date. Want to share some photos? Well, I might as well. I mean, I don't have any makeup on so add photo, take photo. Use photo uploading submit to consultation all done <laughs> okay that was quick so when you go on the website um, you can see your treatment plan who prescribed it for me so i've been doing this since 25th of october i can see when my next daily dose is coming i can manage my order see my upcoming prescriptions um so already my daily doser did i even rub that in properly I think I did, um, has sunk into my skin. I like to leave my skin just like this for a good, to be honest, like an hour or so or a couple of hours until I come up to bed. Yeah, I would normally wait, but I am always too tired <laughs> to show you more skincare by the time I actually go to bed. So I will put the moisturizer on now. You can use it as a day cream and then apply your SPF or you can use it as a night cream. Again, really, it's like a gel. Can you see? It's like a gel consistency. This is my first time trying these products, by the way, so I'm just kind of reporting what I feel and experience. Um, this is designed to be super hydrating. It's great for combination to oily skin. Um, it's designed with hyaluronic acids and ceramides, so it's all about boosting the skin's barrier, again, boosting hydration, and of course, doing all of these things without blocking your pores, because that was one of my main skincare concerns. That is, <laughs> that feels so nice, especially after being outside for the whole day. You know, when your skin just feels pampered, like it's just got the ingredients that it needs. Mm. Well, there we have it. My three-step skin and me routine, all about treating, cleansing, and hydrating the skin. My skin feels really, really lovely, and it's so nice to know that you have got a skincare routine, a skincare routine designed for you by dermatologists without having to fork out, without having to spend loads of money or time getting an appointment. And yeah, I feel like I've said it a million times, but I love it, I'm obsessed. I recommend it to all of my friends. So I will leave all the information in the description box down below. Now I'm gonna go and I think we're gonna take a glass of wine, do a lovely evening at garden walk because it is glorious outside. We're having steak and mac and cheese for dinner, which is music to my ears. Um, so yeah. That's the plan. Good morning, darlings. 
It's a little bit too public for me to do a full frontal vlogging, but today is a London day. And starting off with a breakfast event at this place, which I have no idea how to pronounce, Pentechnikon? Not sure, but it looks like it's got a lovely roof terrace. favourite little spots in London, the very hidden chameleon restaurant. This is where my next meeting of the day is and whenever I come here it's always so quiet. I think the lunch um, bookings haven't started yet but you basically have your meetings or your lunch or your coffee in these little greenhouses right in the middle of Marlebone. So this is our next location for the day. Incredible! And couldn't resist popping into my favourite little flower stall on our way out. This is the flowered, um, I was going to say pop-up, but I'm pretty sure it's here permanently. They always have the most beautiful bouquets, hydrangeas, eucalyptus. I'm not sure what this is actually, but that is a beautiful bloom. And they've got some really gorgeous wild displays, lots of hydrangeas for hydrangea season, classic roses, beautiful antique chandeliers. So lovely. And a greenhouse full of pots and blooms. Done and I've been an awful vlogger. I've not shown you anything, I've not even flipped the camera around. So, as soon as we get home, we'll have a big old catch up. Well, hello, my darlings. Finally, <laughs> finally, I actually pick up the camera to talk to you. I should have um, I should have spoken to you earlier on today because I actually made an effort to air wrap my hair really nicely and at eight o'clock this morning, my makeup looked wonderful. But once again, it seems to be the theme with this vlog. I come to you looking a little bit bedraggled. After a day in London, I'm gonna go and take my makeup off in a second. Um, but yeah, today was a really great day. But um, yes, I obviously did not <laughs> vlog very much, but started off with a brunch with nobody's child at, right, let's see if I can remember how to pronounce it, Pantechnicon. I think that's right, which is a really cool place in um, Belgravia, about three or four floors. The bottom floor, lower ground, is a Japanese restaurant, and then like a really cool cafe, deli shop on the ground floor. Not sure what's on the next two, and then this incredible, as you saw, open rooftop glass house structure on the top, and we had a lovely brunch, really nice to meet the Nobody's Child team. This dress is Nobody's Child. Uh, so interesting to hear about all of the sustainable efforts that they're making. I didn't realise, but for a farmer to produce organic cotton, the land has to be farmed in an organic and sustainable way for three years, during which it's very hard for the farmer to make profit. So often farmers don't actually become organic farmers because it's just not monetarily viable for them. So what Nobody's Child are actually doing is sponsoring a load of farmers to help support them on their journey to becoming organic farmers, which is amazing. If you just thought that Nobody's Child was all about pretty dresses, you'd be right, but also they just make, they, I believe it's 95% of the materials that they use are all sustainably sourced, or they are made from recycled plastic bottles, or um, Lensing Eco Vero, which I believe is 95% less water than cotton production. They just do the most incredible things. Even for example, today at the brunch, all the flowers that are on the table are getting donated to, I think it was a hospice in London after the event. They're just a lovely brand all round. So yeah, one that I absolutely adore. 
Next meeting was uh, down at the Glass Houses at Chameleon, which is up at One Marlebone. I love it there. So I went from one beautiful outdoorsy location to another. That was a great meeting. Wandered through the flowered stall as well. Then I was by myself for lunch and I didn't have too long. So I actually popped into Farmer J, which is at the top of Regent Street. It was my first time going and I had to queue for about 20 minutes. It's kind of like a fast food style set up but not fast food so they had some really nice oh i'm just gonna help try that's your cloth oh great i'll unbox it now my fourth clariton cloche has arrived um yeah really really nice it was i think it was like 10 pounds or something for a tray and you choose your base so i chose brown rice and then you choose your main you can get obviously like tofu you could get steak you could get roasted cauliflower i got harissa chicken then you choose two sides of course i chose macaroni cheese and then i got an aubergine with a tahini glaze uh it's just a really nice setup and like really tasty food so i'd highly recommend it's not one to go for like a meeting and not a date or anything but if you just want a fairly quick and tasty lunch and you're just dashing about shopping on oxford street um yeah farmer j is at the top of regent street like beyond oxford circus if you've done the shopping side right by the langham opposite mortimer street so yeah loved that gosh i'm shiny and then my next port of call was townhouse for a nail appointment i was very desperate for one and they did the most beautiful are we going to be able to focus let's go down here against my dress um the base shade come on there we go is <laughs> good dexy getting involved the base shade is opi's bubblegum stop snouting me you pterodactyl and then they used um and then they did some nail art for their spring summer collection their street style collection i think they called it so i've got a lovely subtle nail design on a couple of fingers and i must say they did a really really good job you know when they do thorough nail prep even on like this finger for example because my watch is mechanical i have to manually wind it every other day which is actually quite annoying um it's quite stiff and i basically wind it with that part of my finger so that the skin this is such a not a real problem um yeah that bit of skin on my finger gets quite dry and like hard yeah tmi um but she even like buffed that bit down and it's on the side of my finger not even my nail so it was like a full hand pampering experience and then what happened and then i went to king's road had my final meeting of the day did you even ask for a rundown of my day i'm sorry this is probably very boring um final meeting was at granger and co on king's road and i popped into a few of the shops uh, I was a little bit disappointed with um, what they had in Club Monaco, actually. Aside from this one pair of trousers, which um, was really gorgeous looking. But I just couldn't be bothered to try them on. Just couldn't be bothered. <laughs> so that's been my day. It's been a gloriously sunny day. Just got back home. Charlie's had a manic day at the house. There's been a big shoot going on here today, which I'm secretly quite glad that I managed to dodge so charlie's been managing that all day and yeah i have some bits to unbox i know there's been a lot of unboxing in this video but uh my fourth and final cloche is here so let's get that unboxed and take it down to the vegetable garden so this is the fourth claverton cloche that i've purchased i made my first order of three last year i think probably around this time last year but we wanted four and you you can originally buy like pack sets of three um or you can buy them individually originally i thought the three would be enough we had three raised beds last year but now we've got four so i thought i would add a fourth to the collection it's a lovely um brand based down in somerset and they just do everything really beautifully you get an introduction to cloche gardening lovely handwritten note um, and then all of the bits and bobs are in here so the individual glass panels i remember you put it all together hopefully i can remember how to do it So there we go, my beautiful cloche is set up and I think last time I set them up last year I did it 
watching the sunset as well so <laughs> how lovely um, and I've been giving you false information I've been saying it's Somerset but they are actually handcrafted in Bath so even closer a lovely fellow Cotswold company but yeah absolutely beautiful and this will definitely help my little seedlings to grow big and strong when people ask how the kitchen garden is looking <laughs> I should show them this picture because, yeah, it is looking a bit of a state at the moment. Not much has changed um, down here because we're still waiting for the irrigation and the chaps have been working on my greenhouse walls. You gonna pop it in there? We've got electrics in the beds today. Yeah, so the electric room is here today. Mm -hmm. um, as I said, I wasn't around a lot today because we were shooting the house. But, yeah. Um, God, it's so clean compared to the old yeah, ones. Yeah, it won't take long though, will it? No. I think the old ones look great though when they're a bit oh, battered. Really? They actually I, look better. I actually, to be honest, if it was me, I actually like the rust of the paint on. The ones well, the girls would all rust it up. They'll get there. Give they'll them, give them a few there. years. Quite a long time. I think the company itself is only two years old, so no one's really got old ones. We, um, we've made a decision today with the lights. So basically, originally, we were going to have these gold like ones like that mm. but the electrician and this is actually another shout out to Nicholson's not sponsored but <laughs> picking them up the electrician he doesn't work for Nicholson's but he's been hired by Nicholson's mm. but he's he knows exactly what he's doing when it comes to outdoor lighting which is really quite a specialist yeah and he said look he called me out and he said look that is only going to light a bit whereas basically if you remember the oak post we've got yeah got like a circular light so he's going to take <laughs> where is out. it so he's going to recess them in. So right. first of all, I actually think aesthetically it'll be nicer because you'll look down, you won't see these things. Yeah, true. And and uh, and also, he's shown me in the dark, they're a much better light for glowing <coughs> rather than just down. Okay. Because the ones we've chosen really are designed for a post like that. Yes. Um, and then we also, he's laid a wire ready for the walnut tree. Great. For us to make our mind up if we want a light behind the water feature up the walnut tree. Mm. We've obviously got lights in each bed there as well. So much of the blossoms come out and even the wildflower yeah. turf is starting to bloom. What's the purple flower? It's not a cornflower, is it? No. It's a cornflower blue, isn't it? Well, you can get different colour cornflower, but it's not cornflower. Picture this. this. This one is one of my favourites, though. It's always the early bloomer and even the trees. Look at it. Which is this? A pear tree? Uh, no, that will be a cherry cherry blossom or it could be a are all plant. the all the trees down here will they blossom yeah they're all fruit trees gosh how so, amazing we've so got our own blossom side, orchard we, i'm getting harry to design us a map like the other plate like the yeah one. all of them here are hard stone fruits so cherries plums and i think we have peach there's a peach a isn't there gaze, oolinge. Oolinge, oh yeah that popular like a, fruit <laughs> yeah a really well known fruit um it's a random fruit and then on that side, it's all apples and pears, and then the three Stairs. against the hedge are apples. Right, what's this flower um, then? Sponsored by Picture This. It's not really. Oh, it's your tummy. Red Campion. Oh, yeah, Red that Campion. makes sense. The Silene di Red Catchfly Adder's Flower. Rough Robin. Hmm. Anyway, quite nice. Lovely, but yeah, it's um, really wonderful at this time of year when it starts to bloom. Oh, Ooh. I forgot actually, uh, there is another development which is the plug. Can you just um, show us the flagstone? Oh yeah. Do you want to explain what happened? So what happened with the flagstone? Right, I'm learning all the time. Long story short, Nicholson's, um, the supplier let them down, it arrived. This is old York stone. Right, and Old York Stone obviously comes originally from York, mm -hmm. our ground, and it's used, but this is because the, the term old just basically means it's it's not new, so it's come out of a building. <laughs> no, 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 but it's come out of a building or something. Right. I, thought, I did actually think it was maybe referring to the style of it, but it isn't. It just means it's not reclaimed. new, it's yeah, reclaimed. literally, yeah. Um, an interesting fact is basically the stone that got delivered and Neil from Nicholson's was like, no, it's not good enough, is... Basically, all of this stuff has been used in mills, workshops, factories, old school. Mm. And if it's had machinery on it, oils from the machinery seeps into the stone. Ooh. And what happens is, if you buy old York stone that's on the cheap, and you have it laid as a patio, mm. the tar and oil <gasps> comes out in the sun, and Ooh. it blackens the stone. Grim. Yeah. And often I've what, seen that happening. Yeah, and apparently, often, what happens is, basically... You, when you buy your old York stone, you need to make sure that it's not from somewhere where it's had a floor on top of it. Ooh. And often factories lay stuff on top and that makes it sweat and create all these oils wow. as well. Long story short, these are actually, this is out of a cathedral. This wow! And then Do we know where? Are all, no. 
the, these are called cathedral stones. They are, they oh are my stones. goodness. So Why would they have ever taken it out? We've been rescued by Darren, Lich and Garden Antiques. Lichen. Uh, Darren, Lichen <laughs> Garden Antiques. Garden. <laughs> Your pronunciation this evening. Lichen Garden. So anyway, he's obviously it's from Lycan Garden Antiques that we got the water trough mm -hmm. and the gatepost. Um, and he yeah, saved and us because otherwise the project would have been delayed, right? Yeah, and and just to be clear, we're fully paying customers, just supporting. He's like, he's based locally. He's based in Chipping Norton. Uh, this oh, has actually they? come from a reclamation yard that he's got connections with in um, Gloucestershire. Right. So My this old is neck just of the a woods. small sample that I wanted to approve, and mm -hmm. then the rest is coming from the circle and the greenhouse floor and hopefully we'll have enough left for stepping stones that they'll cut. Lovely. Um, It'd be yeah, nice if the stepping stones could have like rough edges like this. Oh, it all will. Neil was telling me this today. That's another thing where sometimes when people that don't necessarily know what they're doing with this, they'll cut it and you'll have <gasps> a clean edge. Which looks so modern. Which looks modern. Yeah. Whereas what you do is you, it's something to do with a chisel and a, yeah. a saw but and a chisel. Right. And it says it will, that obviously you, you don't want to lose that. No. Anyway, long story short, learnt a lot. Long story um, short. Long story very short, mate. <laughs> my world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that got delivered. Like and Garden Antiques, check them out online. Hashtag ad from Dexter. Yes. Keep promoting things. What you can say. I only accept sponsorships oh. from the finest antique dealers, you know? I, I don't accept any old, any old crap Dexter these days. Dexter would make a good antique dealer. <laughs> <laughs> that should be the quote of the vlog. If you get this far in the video, leave Dexter should be an antique dealer in the comment section down below. <laughs> So this here is Greenhouse Progress. We've got the beautiful Haunton stone. Haunton or Horton? Haunton, Haunton isn't it? Haunton. Haunton. Haunton, <laughs> Haunton stone yeah. wall, almost finished. It's gonna look amazing. So where's my plug going to be? Sorry, I, I forgot to plug. So in here, we've had the electrics put in. Mm -hmm. It's a bit boring. I was just highlighting that we've, we've got it done. So that you will have a plug socket and it will go underneath or along the <gasps> Lynn, you're going to get filthy. Ah, ah, ah. Bunny rabbits, it come on. Be, it will be hidden on your shelving. Wonderful. The that we've had putting over here, it's quite, it's not bad. Stop it now. Get out of there. Stop it now. This is ridiculous. Oh, you're <laughs> filthy. <laughs> Gosh, so we have a plug in our kitchen garden. Yes, we've got two plugs here. So I could charge my phone while I'm gardening. Well, I think actually it's, um, speakers it's, it's hard to know whether it, we need it hot tub but lazy spa yeah special it's just offer. useful to have it isn't it <laughs> yeah um i did actually ask him today dickie's massage bed it would be quite a lot of hassle to get a plug up here somewhere yeah i apologize for the scary lighting but it has become my routine when i get back from a day in london to put whatever outerwear i was wearing in my steam cupboard for a good clean. Obviously I have taken my Dior coat to the professional dry cleaners, which you have seen in the last vlog, <laughs> thrilling content, um, because it did have some marks on it, but anything that doesn't have marks on it but just needs freshening up after being in the city for a day, I put in my fashion fridge in here. I forgot that I put my Amazon dress in there. A lot of you commented on the video that you couldn't find the green. I think too many of you bought it when I posted it on my Instagram stories. So it did sell out in this color, but I'll keep an eye on it and I will share it on my Instagram stories again when it comes back in stock. I think this needs a heavy clean. I have also just unboxed a load of very beautiful fashion deliveries that arrived today from a selection of my favourite, I would say, premium high street brands from Phase 8 to LK Bennett's, some beautiful, very exciting for gardening wear, Holland Cooper bits as well. But I'm not going to lie, I do not have the energy to do a big try on now. Um, so depending on the length of the vlog, I may or may not <laughs> insert a little try-on session here, but I'm guessing that's pretty much an entire video's worth of try-on session because there's a lot of dresses there.
Okay, my darlings, evening skincare done. As you know, I like to do it as soon as possible when the day is done. When I get back from London, the first thing that I wanna do is get into a clean pair of clothes or pajamas, depending on the time, and take my makeup off. So I have done that. I think we're gonna have a really early night tonight anyway, because I've been up since four o'clock this morning. I don't even know why, but yeah, I've been up since four. So as usual, I've done my cleansing, I've popped on my skin and me, and I have since realized that the discount code that I gave you at the beginning of this video is actually even better than I thought because the discount code this month, uh, Josie4Y, will get you the skincare set that I've shown you, the light moisturizer and the cleanser, and your daily doser for the reduced price. So you're saving a huge amount. I think you're saving over 50 pounds, which is absolutely incredible. Um, and yeah, I mean, my skin looks great. It really looks so good. I obviously don't have anything apart from this on my skin right now. I'm gonna apply the moisturizer in a second, and then I will apply a night cream again before bed because the moisturizer, the Skin and Me one, it's so light. It's almost like a serum, so it's nice to layer up with your favorite night cream. I'm wearing my very, very cute little Silk and... Silk and Sleep, is that right? No, Stripe and Stare, what's Silk and Sleep? I think I made that up. Stripe and Stare pajamas, another very lovely um, sustainable brand. In fact, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is um, a cotton viscose alternative. What's the name of this fabric? Can't remember the name of it, um, but it's biodegradable, compostable, and uses way less water than normal cotton as well. We love the sustain. Did you hear that? Is that Charlie sneezing? Yeah, we love brands that are making an effort. Um, but anyway, darlings, I'm gonna bid you good night because I am tired. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna go down and have a big glass of water. I've not been very good at hydrating myself today. And I will see you in the next vlog. Bye.